This is the facelifted Mitsubishi Expander. Now we have both variants. This one was just launched with an introductory price of 115,000 ringgit for Malaysia, but that price will go up sooner or later, so book it while you can. This thing here, this is the base model, not yet launched with a price yet, uh, but it will come soon enough and the differences are quite minor, so we won't really go through it that much. Right now, I want to show you what's new with the facelifted expander for Malaysia. Now, if you remember, the expander came to Malaysia in 2020. Now it's 2024. We're getting a pretty minor facelift and some things haven't really changed versus like the Thai spec in Thailand, they're getting a CVT. Malaysia is still retaining the four-speed auto. Proven, durable, timeless gearbox. Let's get into it. So the best place to start is with the design of this face. This is a new interpretation of the Dynamic Shield face from Mitsubishi. And as you can see, it's a little bit more dynamic than before. You've got two glossy black plastic slots up front, and then another one at the bottom here. The Mitsubishi logo is much larger than before, and your LED positioning lights are all in a slightly revised and slightly redesigned shape. And down here, you've got a T-shaped headlamp cluster and the whole thing just looks a lot more dynamic than before. Uh, a lot more chrome on this model, on the base model. The bottom here is not even painted. Here it's silver, silver grey. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot more dynamic and exciting to look at compared to before. Now, why is this relevant? I think it's because people nowadays, even though they're buying an MPV for family purposes, they want a car that looks modern and sporty and futuristic. I think they did a really good job tidying up the expander for that purpose. So the facelifted expander rims look like this. It's a dual tone setup and the uh, Mitsubishi logo in the center is in silver. I think 17 inch is the perfect size for this kind of vehicle because 17 inch tires are actually not that expensive. Once you go to 18 inch, 19 inch, it just becomes ridiculously expensive. 17 inch, still relatively affordable. And yeah, here you get Bridgestone Ecopia tires, nice blend of fuel efficiency and grip. And just like before, the Expander is locally assembled in Malaysia. So at the rear of the Expander facelift, you find a lot of, lot of small changes. Starting with this spoiler. You'll only see this on this variant of the Expander. The base Expander does not have this spoiler. Uh, moving down, you'll find a digital video recorder. Rear facing, very important for insurance claims. The entire rear light cluster is redesigned on the inside, so it looks a little bit more modern, a little bit more in touch with the new Mitsubishi design language. Moving down, you'll find that the bumper is also different. It's got a different garnish around the reflector and a different finish for the lower part of the bumper. Of course, we're not getting the expanded cross in Malaysia yet, maybe, who knows, but this version still looks a little bit like a crossover inspired MPV with that lower cladding. And this kind of vehicle, it's all about practicality. So you open up the boot, you can see with the rear seats folded down, it's super, super spacious, right? And you still get under this thing access to your spare tire, which is a bolt down here. You open it, spare tire comes up from underneath the car and doesn't take any room here. In fact, this room here is all for additional cargo. So you can put stuff here, it's all segmented. Uh, yeah, perfectly great for small family. And in case you want to move seven people, which a lot of families need to do, you can just easily pull up these seats. And you have one of the last few 5 plus 2 seater compact MPVs on the market at a relatively affordable price. So the expander really is perfect for expanding families. Inside, you've got five spots to sit and you've got your aircon controls up here, four blowers and a dial. So you can actually control the blower speed from the back. So you've got USB-C and USB-A charging from the facelift and you've also got a 12 volt socket at the back. Now, of course, the most important thing in a car like this, you want entry and exit for the rear passengers to be as easy as possible. On the expander, both sides of the seats can be tumbled down with one press and tilt. Super simple, very lightweight. Um, yeah, just makes getting in and out of the back seat so easy. And again, this works for both sides of the vehicle. Up front, you see some big changes with the expander. The entire dashboard design now is a lot more premium with a nice long horizontal bar going across the entire 
cabin. Now, it's not just the design, it's also the materials that are better. There's like a kind of nice uh, leather layer on top of everywhere that your arms touch. So elbows, both sides, and of course near the um, aircon vents. You know, anywhere your hands can accidentally touch, there's some nice padded leather now. And it's in this really interesting shade of dark, dark brown. It's almost black, so it's easy to maintain as well. Now, on top of that, there are some nice new amenities like a wireless charger. And this new digital aircon interface is probably the most easy to understand one. There's no like degrees Celsius or anything. It's just hot or cool. Super simple, super straightforward. Besides that, electric parking brake, auto hold, simple but comfortable steering wheel. And that ties in line with everything about this car. Simple but usable. And um, well, you still get that four-speed auto like I mentioned before. So this gear stick selector is still the same as before. Very, very familiar. But yeah, just enough touches to make the expander feel a little bit more fresh for 2024. Oh, and not to forget, this infotainment unit has also been updated. So it's semi freestanding and you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto ready to go. So those were the key highlights of the new Mitsubishi Expander facelift. It's familiar, but it's thoroughly enhanced in a lot of ways. Now, you might want to hurry and get this $115,000 introductory price for the Plus variant and the first 500 customers who book it online on the Mitsubishi online store will get that Nature Hike camping wagon and that is worth 400 over Ringgit. So definitely don't waste any time. Get yours as soon as possible. I'm Subhash from DSF.my. Thanks for watching.